Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how you can uh, run a query using React Query only if you have uh, all the required data. So don't waste time and let's jump in it. For this example, I create a new use my to do hooks. In this case, the use my to do hooks use directly the use user hooks and use the user to fetch the data from the API. In this case, I create a new user query with a new uh, key, in this case, my to do. And then I use the fetch to do uh, to filter the, the task. In this case, I pass uh, the, the user and call the API slash task with the filter by the assignee ID. Then we have a problem. User could be, uh, in this case, uh, un uh, undefined. So to prevent, uh, to call this, uh, uh, this, um, uh, this function with uh, the user undefined, we can use the enable uh, uh, configuration exposed by the use query to check if uh, uh, we have all the required data to call the, the function in this case. In our case, we can check if the user exists. Okay, React query, you can uh, run this uh, query. Otherwise, you have to uh, stop the execution in this case. Simple. And then I return uh, the to-dos and uh, the error, uh, and I map the error. Then I use uh, this, uh, this hook in uh, my list. I also uh, refactor a bit the list and I create a all to-do uh, component to show all, uh, all the to-dos and I create a my to-do uh, component to uh, show only my uh, to-do, so the, the to-do of the, of the current user. And then I also re refactor the, the list, so I check if the current tab is all to-do, I, um, I render the all to-do component, otherwise I render the uh, my to-do component in this case. And to check the result, I also remove the protected root by uh, in the in the list of uh, of the to dos. So now it's time to check the result in the in the browser. Okay, to check the result, we can uh, see this first first example. The user is null in this case, and if I click the my to do. As you can notice, the, the my to do query is, is disabled and the data is null. So in this case, uh, also we can check also the network to be double to have a double check. If I click again my to do, as you can as you can see, this query is disabled and there uh, there isn't any uh, HTTP request to the API because. Uh, the application uh, doesn't have a user in this moment. Now we can do the double check with the user. Okay, now to check if uh, the use my to do hooks works uh, great, we can sign in using test dot uh, at test dot id, and we can use test as password. And now we can check the result. First of all, now we have uh, our user. So if I click uh, in the React Query Dev Tool, we can see the access token and the email and the ID in this case. And uh, if I click uh, in the My To Do tab, as you can see, the My To Do uh, query appear and there is uh, one element yeah, as a result, uh, the To Do three uh, assigned to the current user and also in the network we can see the HTTP request in this case and uh, in my opinion this is a very powerful uh, configuration because if you need to be sure your uh, application uh, must have uh, some data before call uh, the query you can use uh, this uh, enable flag to check if all the required, required data uh, are uh, defined and in this case uh, you can call the, the API or the fetch, um, the fetch method. Easy peasy, no? But also very uh, powerful for me. Okay, that's all. I suppose uh, now you have an idea of how uh, the enable flag uh, works and uh, how you can use it in your React application. So I hope uh, you enjoy this content and if you like it, hit 
the like button below and if you want to stay updated with my content please subscribe to my channel thank you and see you soon bye bye